again in River and Bohime. And on here, we talk about faith, family, and food. So today's topic is actually very, very dear to my heart because this was something I actually battled with while growing up. Today, we're going to be talking about low self-esteem. If you're interested, let's go. So, um, there are lots of people out there that are actually suffering from low self-esteem, low image, and um, these kind of people are actually prone to being taken advantage of in one way or the other. It could be in the form of, in terms of relationship, it could be in their career, it could be even in their own family, immediate and extended family, and in their life generally, they seem to find it difficult or they seem to, it's easy for them to be taken advantage of because they are battling the issue of low self-esteem so, so before we jump right into how um, what low self-esteem is it is important for us to really deal from the root self-esteem so what's self-esteem now self-esteem is one's opinion about him or herself okay how you see yourself and how useful you think you are in any particular situation in any particular setting it could be in your home it could be in your family it could be in the world, in the in the office space, in your career, and um, it could be even with your friends, your relationship with your friends, how you see yourself or how useful you think you are to these people is what self-esteem is. There are basically two um, types of self-esteem. We have the high self-esteem, which is a positive self-esteem, and then we have the low self-esteem. Today, we're going to be talking about the low self-esteem. So, um, as we already know what self-esteem is, the low self-esteem is the negative way in which one sees he or herself. You know, there are times when you feel you are incapable. There are times when you feel that you're, you're irrelevant. You cannot do it. Yeah, so these are expressions of or forms of low self-esteem. So what are, the, what are the signs of low self-esteem? Before we talk about how we can battle it, we need to know, you need to know whether or not you have the signs or whether or not you have a um, low self-esteem. So what are the signs? What signs can you actually look out for in yourself? Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about is always blaming yourself or always extremely criticizing yourself, okay? So a lot of times you find people that usually have low self-esteem are usually very critical about themselves. They always blame themselves when things are going wrong in a particular place, criticizing themselves when things turn out wrong. The next sign of low self-esteem is that they are people pleasers okay so if you find out that you're always going extreme to ensure that the people above you or people around you are pleased with you that you are trying to you are going the extra mile to ensure that the people around you are happy that you are there you know that's also a sign of low self-esteem now the third the third sign of low self-esteem is that the person always second guesses him or herself when he or she makes a decision he's always feeling like the decision is not right, you know, you're always second guessing yourself. That's also a sign that you have low self-esteem. Another sign that you have low self-esteem, it can be difficult to actually assert your needs. You you really don't know what you want, you know, you are unsure of what you want. You, you don't know the direction you need to take. You're always looking like you're confused in making decisions. That kind of person has a low self-esteem. The last one is that you're always always dwelling on the negatives you're always dwelling on the negatives yes life is not perfect you know and so a lot of things happen that can be sometimes negative you dwell more on the negative than you dwell on the positive when you do that a lot it is a sign that you have low self-esteem okay so where does this low self-esteem come from the truth is that nobody is born with um low self-esteem so there is actually a cause for low self-esteem it actually stems out from People's experiences in life, you know, the way people were actually brought up. Sometimes some people actually face a lot of harsh punishment. Their parents are always comparing them to other people that are seemingly doing better than them. And some people may have gone through emotional um, breakdown in, in the course of their early stages of their life. Abuse too can also be a cause for um, low self-esteem. When one has been abused physically, emotionally, when, when one has been abused, any form of abuse actually can actually result to low self-esteem. Your background, when you don't seem to fit in with your friends, so you have, um, you probably have um, a, a group of friends or you are in, you're probably in a particular space where you feel you're not 
fitting in rightly you could actually develop um, um low self-esteem from there so um low self-esteem actually have various causes but most of these causes are actually not um positive causes you know and some of these causes are actually not um it's not the fault of the people you know it could be um probably the parents how the parents raised them um it could be from outsiders abuse you know when one has gone through sexual assaults and all that those could actually result to having um low self-esteem okay so when you con constantly make um decisions that turn out wrongly over the years you discover that that person will still have um a low self-esteem these are the causes of um low self-esteem and the truth is that when one has is actually suffering from low self-esteem the person kind of builds a wall or a form of a rule that is even unwritten around such a person so you hear somebody saying well i'm not going to talk out and I, I can't make opinions and things like um, better i don't try at all before i try it and then it doesn't work out those are kind of rules that actually keeps people stuck in their low self-esteem. Another one is when you are in um, probably uh, with a group of people and then suggestions are being made and then at the back of your mind, you have something to say, but it's like, maybe if I say this now, it's not going to be acceptable. That's that's what, th th those are the rules. So it's better you don't speak out than for you to speak out and then it is not acceptable. Those kind of things keeps one stuck in this negative self-image. Another one is I must always try to please people wherever I am I must for me to be seen I must always try to please people for me to be um, re reckoned with I must always try to please people I must always try to please people to avoid them um, being criticized to avoid criticism these are rules that are on that are walls I could say they are walls or rules that have been uh, are making people stop how do we improve on our low self-esteem having gone through the fact that um, we now know what self-esteem is. We know some of the causes of self-esteem. We also know some things that can help, that can actually hinder these people that have low self-esteem or you that have low self-esteem from going forward. Some ideas and rules and walls that have they have shielded them. Okay, now the, we need to find a solution for you. How do we improve our self-esteem? Okay, so the first thing we need to do for everyone that is having this issue of self-esteem, the first thing we you need to do is to ensure that you find out the root cause why you had um, a low self-esteem. It's important for you to identify the source of your low self-esteem. I want you to cast your mind back to identify your beliefs. Now, what is your value? What are your values? I'm not talking of those um, I'm, I'm talking of your your values. What values do you stand by? It's important as someone that has a, a, a negative self-image that you should write down your values. Look, write down, think about it and tell yourself, oh, so far, what has been my value? What can I actually point out and say, this is my value system, this is what I believe in. And the next thing, what is, what is your belief about yourself? Okay, so when you write the values, what you are, what you believe in, what your life is about, how you're your values okay you will now write about how you see what are your beliefs about yourself okay your core beliefs now there are a lot of people that their core belief is like nobody loves them okay they have the feeling or the belief that there is they are on their own in the world that they they are unlovable and they cannot give love okay these things can actually affect um your self-image and how you project yourself to other people okay so when once you're done writing that, I want you to identify those beliefs, those um, behaviors that are incited from your core beliefs. Okay, those behaviors that are incited from your core beliefs. It could be that because you're on, you're on, you're you're not you feel like you're unlovable because you feel you're unlovable. You are not friendly. Okay, you're not. You don't. You don't easily become. You don't put yourself out there to have good relationships with people that could actually help you or that you could be of help to. You don't have good relationships because you feel like you're unlovable, okay? So once you are able to identify those behaviors, um, the next thing you need to do, what is the cause? Why are you having low self-esteem? Why, what brought it? At what point did anything happen to you that started making you um, dwindle or go down in the way you see yourself, okay? 
So I want you to think about that. A lot of times we don't actually um, sit down and reflect or self-reflect on our life's journey so far. Okay, so it's important as somebody that wants to improve his self-esteem, you could do that, okay? So the next thing you need to do is to face your fears. Now, those behaviors and those core beliefs you have about yourself, you could pick them one at a time. Those core beliefs like um, you're unlovable, um, I am stupid, I cannot succeed, I am in danger. I am inadequate, I'm a failure, okay? So these are the core beliefs that um, those that have negative self-image have about themselves. Now, I want you to challenge yourself, okay? And this you have to do one step at a time, okay? I want you to break those, I want you to face your fears, okay? So when you are giving, for example, if you have a, a negative core belief like you're unlovable, why don't you seek out to make friends, okay? Or you're not loved look for somebody and pour out try to be a loving person to such a person if you feel you're a failure start up a project okay try and try to challenge yourself okay and it's not easy except you want to really come out of this self negative self image you have if you really want to be intentional about coming out from out of this negative self image you need to in, be intentional about it it's important that you need to to do the work you need to face your fears as you're doing this um you would see that it is not as you as you thought after all now finally and um the most important it's always going to be almost always um the last thing because it's like a cement for everything i've said so far it is the word of god okay so more than every other advice that one can actually give you you can only be able to look into look to see the through you if you look through the scriptures now what does what does god say about you okay there are lots a lot of things god has said about us and if you actually study the word of god you could actually see it that this is not only about us it's about me personally it's about you personally so it's important that one of the major ways you could do this to um go through the scripture is go through the promises of god okay go through what god says about me okay and write it down you could post you could paste it everywhere and let it always come pass through your eyes always say it always confess the word always go into the word and renew your mind the bible says that we should renew our mind okay so always try to renew your mind and as you're renewing your mind you're also going in line with these other things we have done facing your fears you're also thinking about your values your core beliefs you're also trying to ensure that your behavior now you're checking you're always trying to check now to to see whether or not you're you're giving out a negative behavior just because of how you feel inside okay so you are trying you it's a it's a lot of work and if you can just do this work it's going to go a long way in improving drastically your self-esteem you could even also start reading christian script um, literatures literatures not motivational literatures but literatures that are inspired by god that can help for these kind of um and challenges you're facing read books okay and study the word of god Bible says that we should study the word of god to show ourselves approved okay so just keep studying display the the word of god god's promises who god says you are around wherever you are let it be at the tip of your tongue okay and just keep saying it the more you say it, the more your spirit man and your subconscious believes that which you are saying and by believing that you are cancelling or you are reducing the negativity you already have inside of you so thank you very much i hope all what i've said here is going to be of great help to you thank you for listening until i come your way again bye